Hello Cloud Gurus and welcome to AWS This Week and I've got some awesome updates to tell you about this week, including Amazon launched a new Java development kit called Coretto, AWS CloudFormation now supports drift detection, DynamoDB now encrypts all customer data at rest, while SNS also adds server-side encryption, and we announce our Guru of the Week. You're watching AWS This Week with me, Faye Ellis. There is a new Java development kit called Coretto, which was launched this week in preview. And Coretto is a zero cost production ready distribution of the widely used OpenJDK Java development kit. And it comes with long term support with quarterly updates. And you can use it to run Java applications on all the main operating systems, including Amazon Linux, Windows and Mac OS. And it's available to download in preview right now. CloudFormation now supports drift detection. And if you don't remember, CloudFormation is the service which allows you to provision your AWS infrastructure as code. And it now allows you to detect if configuration changes have been made to your stack resources outside of CloudFormation using the console, for example. So it's going to track the differences between your expected configuration based on the CloudFormation templates and the actual configuration values in your stack. And this is going to make it much easier to manage your CloudFormation stacks and ensure a consistent configuration. DynamoDB now encrypts all customer data at rest by default. And if you don't remember, DynamoDB is the scalable, high-performance NoSQL database. And it now provides encryption at rest using AES 256-bit encryption. So by default, all tables will now be encrypted free of charge using a key managed by the AWS Key Management Service. And DynamoDB will take care of the encryption and decryption of your data completely transparently and without you needing to make any modifications to your application code. SNS also adds server-side encryption. And if you don't remember, SNS, or Simple Notification Service, is a managed service, and it's a pub-sub messaging service, which allows you to configure push notifications to AWS resources and also directly to end users. And you can now configure server-side encryption to encrypt your messages. And the messages are stored in encrypted form within SNS, and they are only decrypted as they are delivered to your subscribing endpoints. So this is going to be great for applications which need to transmit sensitive data using SNS. So on to Guru of the Week. And the correct answer this week was D. And lots of people got it right, but the person with the best answer is Max Komutsky. And Max is a solution architect in the US. So congratulations to Max. There is a Cloud Guru t-shirt, sticker, and hand-signed card on their way to you in the post. And you are also in the draw to win a free ticket to reInvent 2019. Please see the link below for this week's question, which is now live on our Facebook page. And finally, we are all super excited about reInvent this year. Myself and Ryan and all of the other instructors will be there. And this year, we also have a booth. So please do stop by and say hello. We'd love to meet you. And that's all from me. You've been watching AWS This Week. Keep being awesome, Cloud Gurus, and I'll see you next time. Bye.